Hi, I'm Lisa Burstein, author of Pretty Amy. I'm here with Jennifer L. Armentrout, author of the Lux series. So let's start with um, how you came up with the idea for the Luxon. It was kind of funny. I wrote half of Obsidian without having an alien in mind. So the whole entire time I'm writing the book, I'm picturing like these giant insect aliens in my head. And I was like, well, that's just not sexy or cool. <laughs> it actually started first as jellyfish, how you can see through them. And then I just kept going from there and came up with the the version of light and the version of darkness, and I thought it really played into the story itself. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you picked light. <laughs> I know, right? because It was definitely hotter. And speaking of hotter, <laughs> let's talk about Damon. <laughs> How did you come up with the idea for him? He's a different character on his own. I he's probably the, the most fun I've had writing a character. Um, I actually think he's pretty. Um, realistic when it comes to how teenage boys behave with, you know, not always saying the right thing, not, you know, being from the beginning of a book, being the perfect guy, because let's get real, most guys are not like that. <laughs> Was there anyone like him at your high school? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd still be in high school if that was the case. I know that uh, many bloggers out there are, have probably been dying to ask you this. Uh, who did you base Katie on? I really wanted somebody who had a love for books because I, I love the bloggers and I think it's funny, you know, and really I love how they get so excited and it's a good kind of funny. It was fun to incorporate that into the actual um, book and I guess give a shout out to them too in the same respect that you know, the writing community does have a lot to thank them for. One of the things I loved about Obsidian was how, um, I keep saying hot, but how <laughs> hot it was. How do you keep up the romantic tension in your books? Um, I think that's like what I'm known for now. <laughs> it's like, Jal, she writes the sexy wine books. <laughs> Believe it or not, it is actually kind of difficult because like once there's that build up to the first kiss. And then once you have the first kiss, there's the build up to the next thing and the next thing. And you have to keep recapturing that every time they kiss. I do try to slow it down during those scenes and give each of them the right amount of attention to keep it where the readers are still interested if they're kissing two books later. Well, I heard a rumor <laughs> from your editor that you wrote a book in four days. <laughs> um, it was not four days. I think. <laughs> it keeps, it's so funny, this rumor keeps getting shorter and shorter four every hours. time. Next is going to be like, you wrote it in an hour. The craziest thing though, it was six days written and then I had to do a 50% revision and I had about two days to do that. I don't, I don't think I'll ever write a book like that again that fast. So. Hopefully not. Well, I'm in awe of that, <laughs> just so you know. Um, and then my last question is, do you have any spoilers you want to share from Honest? Uh, well, you do get to see a lot of Damon and Kat in the story. And he still calls her kitten quite a bit. I know a lot of fans love that. And he, he does poker with the pin, so there's the <laughs> pin poking is back. And there's some new characters introduced. There are some characters that you would have become familiar in Shadows, which is the prequel, will make a reappearance in Onyx. So um, it's, it's very twisty turny, so it's a very big book. Can, so there is a lot of kissing, too, I'll tell you that. <laughs> well, great. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer. Thank you.